Yo, 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 what's happening guys? Metaverse Melon here, how are we all today? We're back with another video, feeling fresh, just finished work, it's currently about 10 o'clock at night, just waiting on my partner finishing work, so sitting in the car, so I do apologise, I've not got the webcam on, it's too dark right now, it's pitch black, uh, but I'm filming in the car right now, so we'll get into the video. I did wake up at 2am in the morning and I did start buying some collections. I want to go through this because I didn't actually film it, but what we have done now is we've actually got a few more collections, so we'll actually go over to collections quickly. And then you can see the actual collections I've got set up currently and what we're actually going to do with these collections because I was looking for good markups, so like I use UPX land to try and get good markups and this collection was at about 60% markup, but I do get like a 1.76 boost or something like that, so it's really cool. So if we actually go have a quick look, I did buy all the properties in Granada Hills and then I got some more in um, LA and then all the deals ran out. So I did actually buy some deals in Berlin. Berlin's got some really good deals currently. I'm not moving to Berlin or anything. This is just to fill up a few collections. I've got the International Nomad collection finished now, so I'll get a boost on that. I've also finished the Newbie, which I already had before. Uh, that's for any property in any late city. Uh, the South American one I want to get done, the European one I want to get done. King of the Street are finished. This is the one I've finished as well, City Pro. And then this one is in uh, Berlin and we just finished last night. So we've got three properties. Uh, I've got 2,000 UPEX to collect. And then I don't know if it'll show you, but like, these three properties I've actually got. Um, and I can't see how much the boost is right now. Uh, I think it's like 1.76 or something like that. And then if we actually go over here as well, we've got the Tiergarten. Garten, <laughs> tear garden. We've got that as well, whatever that means. It's something like a park or so. So we've filled that one in as well. We've got the three properties for that collection also. And then we'll just keep filling in some properties. So if you have noticed as well, uh, the collections have gone up. So that was just last night. And then you can see the actual account's gone over 7 million UPEX now. So we're currently sitting at 7 million. 28,800 UPEX is absolutely amazing. And then I've also got. 1,904 in the bank, so we'll collect that quickly right now, and that will get us up to one uh, seven thousand seven million and thirty thousand, which is absolutely awesome. Going to buy a few more properties as well over the next couple of days, uh, get it up to nine hundred properties, and hopefully in the next couple couple of months we'll be able to get up to a thousand properties hopefully next month and that so i will be slowing down a little bit me and my partner's going to go away next month so i pushed a lot more money in the account this month uh, hopefully this grows really quickly we've got about another 50 60 properties now that we have got a 50 percent markup what we will put up back on the market so hopefully we can get this account up to about 7.6 to 7.8 million by the time we get paid and at that point we can actually put some more money in get it closer to 9 million i know that's a massive push guys but i believe with this channel now with the growth we can actually grow this out and then any profit i make off all the sales so what i've done is bought all the properties i've got on 50 percent off anywhere in la and then other places as well once those properties sell for 100 percent markup and then the upx i get for those all that upx will go straight back into granada hills so there's no point me investing money into the store and then minting out properties in granada hills i may as well use my strategy what's already made me about two three hundred percent profit and actually implement that in Granada Hills. So that's what I'm going to do. I think that's a lot more clever. So if you see the money not going into Granada Hills, don't worry. I will be buying like $500 of property anywhere in LA, the cheapest property. Then I'll put it on the market, sell it for UPEX again. So if I get it for 50%, I pay $4. I'll sell it for about 8,000, 8,500 UPEX. That will go into my bank here. And then all the money goes straight back into Granada Hills, just buying unminted properties. And then every time I get paid, I'll just keep raising the floor and buying dollar properties as well. Around LA and that will get this account up to 10 million very soon once we get that we get the 1.2 spark as well so we'll be up at 2.88 spark but probably closer to 2.9 uh 2.92 or something like that by the time obviously next payday uh comes and then it'll probably be about two months off before we hit the 10 million but hopefully july august september by the end of september um, August time we will be at 10 million what's chief ex uh, what's executive sorry and at that point we'll be able to actually like implement spark uh, a lot more effectively we've got other players coming in as well and we have just hit I think it's 347 subscribers let me just double check quickly right now because once we hit to 350 we will be giving away so i've got 348 subscribers right now so once we get another two subscribers on this youtube channel we will be giving away 3.5 spark for five days all you have to do is have a building uh, currently getting built in la and then you have to be subscribed to this youtube channel and then just put your in-game username down below in the comments and then we'll spin the wheel again someone will win 3.5 spark to actually build your property and then going forward we will be actually like in getting more stakers like more sharks i call them what have got a lot of spark and then we'll be like mixing them with the 
small players as well. So a lot of other big players want to help out smaller players. And then I'll just kind of be the marketplace where actually like helps those transactions go through. So a lot of good players actually on the node as well. Got a lot of support and all the big players who are actually helping me out will be able to help you guys out as well. I will put the Discord link in the description down below so you can use that to sign up. Um, you can actually, sorry, not sign up. It's completely free. Uh, but you can actually access the Discord and then you can actually go and chat to players who are actually building and uh, making money in Granada Hills, actually what they're buying, what they're selling, just some really good tips. If I can't actually film on the video or if I can't reply to certain messages, there's some really good people in there what go, know a lot of Upland, a lot more than I know about Upland, so yeah, I'll just open the window quickly, it's getting quite warm in the car. But yeah, uh, definitely a few players I'll recommend going forward on Upland and that. So like, if I'm actually not in the chat, there's other players where I actually can answer the questions, what I trust. And then yeah, you can actually grow your account, see where you're going. It's good to see all the small players actually making returns, seeing like a lot of players buying properties now and actually selling them for a higher up X amount. So it's really cool. I remember when I figured that out for the first time and I was amazed that it actually works. And then I actually understood, up, understood Upland a little bit more. And that's where I started to go now and start making more strategies and more, more plays in Upland so I use a lot of my different strategies I talk about a lot of people are asking why I don't release this like why am I releasing it all free because I can give you all the data but to actually implement it there's like 10, 15, 20 different strategies sometimes I use each month just to like build my account so yeah if you're really good and you're really focused on these videos you'll be able to like grow really fast and just a knowledge of playing as well I'm coming up to 11 months on Upland which is really cool just like the knowledge and like playing it and actually understanding it it's sick women's FIFA's coming in soon which will be awesome a lot of other stuff like talking about uh, going forward web 3 you know all these different deals tokyo's coming out soon as well so we'll have that uh, no one as well like that um partnerships really cool uh, so yeah a lot of stuff coming to upland but for me i can't wait till you can actually uh, basically do more with your properties as well so every single property in upland is um re mapped to the real world and then like if you want to actually buy upex it's 1000 upex for one dollar so you can actually start just buying one or two properties and then you can actually start to add value to those properties try and build buy properties in a good deal like 50 60 percent markup and then you can actually sell them you know so it's quite fun you can go to upx land here you can just go over to property search property search here whatever city you want to look for the neighborhood or whatever just leave it blank if you just want the city and then go over to like upex or dollars whatever you're saying or just keep it for sale and then go over when it comes up just click the markup button and then like look for the like the cheapest markup anything below 60 70 percent markup i'll buy every single day of the week and then just sell it for a hundred percent and just make a little bit of money as i go you know this account's probably at about four and a half thousand dollars invested now and you can see i made about over two and a half thousand profit but you've got to remember i've only invested about 800 recently just now and then also i've invested quite a lot of money last month so over the space of like the two grand i've had invested it's actually made a lot of money for me i've only like bumped the count up a lot again in the last couple of months so upland's been growing for 11 months but really really this account would have been at about five million with about two and a half thousand dollars invested so we doubled our money and now we've just actually invested more because i really do trust upland i do love how it's just like not fluctuating it's not a cryptocurrency i love how it's a token i love how the money will be the money tomorrow like i've got seven million and thirty thousand whether i sell a property or not like that profit will go on or go down but i won't lose money from any other way at all unless i sell something for cheaper than i bought it for or i make a bad deal myself and then that's the reason that i won't be able to actually make some profit on upland so yeah you've got to like have a strategy you've got to think where you're going to go but it is good fun like you can play this with your family you can just have a really good time i will put the link in the description down below if you want to sign up to it it's upland it's basically a virtual property trading game you can buy flip stuff it's just really cool like there's block explorers legit so other stuff as well if you're big into fifa like all that kind of stuff's coming out so stock car racing and other stuff as well so a lot of fun stuff coming to upland as well and a lot of like um layer three layer two experiences coming to upland sorry and then once they come out as well there's a few at the moment like upland what's it called i used to play upland kingdoms uh yeah if you want to play that you can play that but there's also like x which is coming out soon that looks cool as well uh, if you want to join on the other games but what i do is i just stick to upland i can't wait till upland brings more utility to the actual game itself so i don't believe in actually like focusing on something else what can earn me up picks when i can spend the time looking at the data and finding out where i want to invest my money i've got like basically seven thousand dollars now invested into this game i'm not going to be like wasting my time on growing carrots like or doing other stuff like that i'm sorry like i know a lot of people take that 
uh, the wrong way, but like it's not, it's business, it's a lot of money invested, I'm not going to be wasting money by being distracted on other stuff, I'm going to be focused on the properties, what I can buy, what I can mint, um, all the new city releases, there's so much going on on Upland right now, I don't need another 10 things on top of it, so it's nothing personal at all, I just really believe I can make a lot more money by growing my account, and then if you want to actually build the properties up by having like lots of farm on the properties, then the properties I buy are just worth more money in the future, and if they're too overpriced, I just don't buy them anyway, but that means like LA if like a lot of people have got properties at 20 30 dollars because of like X or Upland Kingdoms or other stuff because they've got like utility with lots of farmland on it so you can actually use it in their game as well as just using it on Upland but then like those properties are holding the floor higher which is good doesn't mean I'm going to play it doesn't mean I'm going to actually buy the properties but just to know those properties are higher up so like LA is getting more value in it so yeah it is really good that it's bringing more value to LA I'm not going to lie about that at all uh, but I will stay in Upland now I won't be going off to do any other gaming on the side I did try it and it nearly destroyed like my whole motivation for Upland and just yeah I was like trying spending so much time doing something else and I'd rather just stay to Upland in the actual game that they've released. So I want to see how far they can go. Hopefully they actually start putting more into the actual play, earn and connect. So like the actual Upland, like the properties. So I believe like the properties and the cars and the factories and the showrooms, they really need to have a lot of look at right now. I believe there's a lot of time like in doing all these brand ships, uh, partnerships, sorry, and other stuff, which is great. Totally understand it, but... Yeah, it's time to actually get back to the properties and actually like making some money and bringing some utility to the actual properties. Um, yeah, women's football is great, but like, I think more eyes are going to be on the actual properties and the structures uh, going forward. The same with the FIFA, it was great as well. This is nothing against women. I believe that just like a lot of people are into football and it brings a lot of people in, but you've got to remember what like Upland actually is at the start. And I believe that like, you can actually like bring like a balance so you can actually have more utility i don't believe that there's a i don't believe that you still can't use like the units so each unit in an apartment if there's six units you know like right now you can use it for a meta venture but like i don't even know if i want a meta venture to be fair like you know it sounds cool and that to have a shop open and stuff but i've not really got anything to sell like i'd rather have a cafe with all my property listings in it so you can actually see all the hottest deals on the market so you know you can have a screen with a video playing i might actually just do all my deals on upland so like the best properties what like the markup is right now and every single day i'll have like a a picture on the tv of the property what's like the property of the day or i think that's a better idea for me with like if you're going down that way i don't believe like in a a shop like i think it's a great idea if you want to do stuff in the future i'd love to own a cafe like a real cafe you know where you can sell food uh, i'd love to own a hotel i'd love to do stuff with like leisure centers or like loads of different stuff you know what i mean where you could actually open a business and people could come to it Have you ever played the games like um what's it called um like theme park and that where you build the rides and you build the stalls and you know you can create hype in a certain area so i believe like it would be cool if you could have like pubs cafes in the future you know like fish and chip shop like just like that kind of stuff mcdonald's even you know like there's no reason why those properties couldn't be away so like how the players right now need to spend like, say you visit a property on Upland, I'll keep this very simple. You pay 25 Upix to visit that property. What if it was just a restaurant and then, like, you whatever you clicked and then it shows you the menu? Just like when you click on a terminal and it shows you all the places you can fly to, exactly the same. It could click on it, it'll show you the menu. You could have your burgers, you could have your fries, you could have your chips, like that. You could have a mini McDonald's and you could sell it to the franchise. And, yeah, loads of stuff, like, you know, I just think it needs to be more, like, like more innovation in the actual like properties and what you can actually do like driving around an upland you know mind the first gta where it was a top-down view and you could see the cars moving around like even something like starting off in london or la you know and then expand it into other cities but yeah i think it's time like hopefully there's some really good releases this year but i think it's really time to actually focus back on the properties and the the structures you can actually build in Upland, you know, what will bring more players in as well. I think that'll bring a lot more players in actually being able to play the game they've created. They spent so much time like mapping every address, getting everything right, getting the game right, just the net worth, how it all works. It's amazing. Like this isn't a dig at all. Like the game's fantastic. Like this game is so so good. I'm addicted to it. I love it. Like it's great. I've made such good profits, like returns on it the community is amazing behind it like even upland like how open and connected they are with the community never seen that before like it's just so cool you can actually chat to like the you know the owners of upland and the boss and like it's just amazing to actually see that you know instead of just being like a fake apple um you know like 
um, commercial or something, you know, where it's just for the attention to sell a product. And I know Upland kind of is as well, but you can actually like get to know the people, which is really cool, and even the owners and stuff. But it's dope. So yeah, that's really good fun. Um, but what I would do is really to like to see they spent all this time actually building the game to where it is so good. Like just add some utility on it. It's not gonna. It's not. I don't see why it would take so much time at all. I don't see it taking Upland more time to do that than it would be to like build in like neighborhood ratings or other stuff. And I know I don't know anything at all, but I'm just meaning you could add like food for starts where you like players need to eat or whatever, or it costs you a certain amount to. So say you travel around more, you like burn more calories. So say you like have ten cents, like each cent is like, and then like you move about in Upland. I don't know if I'm actually making sense myself, but I'd like to actually have more reasons just to sit. I love this view here. I don't want to have to go into like different games and stuff. I'd love just to sit here, seeing all the cars moving around. You know, like you could see where the the big places are where it's best to build like a shopping center or build a pub or a cafe i'd just like to have more like buildings and structures you can actually use and build in upland so yeah it like the terminals like i was just talking about once you click in the terminal you can actually go to the menu and then you can actually see all the properties so hopefully i can actually go over see if i can show you here we'll go to the international terminal quickly and then you could just have this window what window what opens up this is basically so you can fly to other places you've got the card machine so what you could do is have your burger your fries your chips your milkshake and that and then in the other one you could have fish and chips you could have sausage and chips like for the chippy and then just like all the different places and then players could actually have to buy the infantry as well so like someone could actually like once farms come out in upland as well you know you could sell their chicken to like a chicken shop that kind of idea i just think if they start going down that idea, Upland will grow massive, like, I really do, and all the money I'm putting in, like, hand on my heart, I stay by, I believe if, like, there's more fun for people to actually do on the front of Upland, it'll grow so much quicker, and I just believe, like, it could be in such a good place with something so simple as, like, putting the same mechanics in what you can do at the terminal, but instead of flying somewhere, you can actually, like, have a meal, and after a certain time, your avatar needs to eat, kind of like a Sims kind of environment, you know, where you actually have to, like, look after... You play on not like the die off straight away. Maybe when the life token comes out, there'll be more to do with like food and animals and that kind of stuff. And yeah, maybe they're onto something what they're not telling us right now. But I think it's time now. I've been on, I know some of you guys have been on Upland for three years. And like, imagine like being on Upland for three years and you can't even like bloody walk around in the house you built. So yeah, hopefully that gets sorted soon and like we can actually start to get back to the game of Upland, not like separate games. So. I really do support the other games and, like, the people behind it. Lovely, like, no offence at all. This isn't, like, a diss at all. This is just really how I feel about, like, the investment. I want, like, to be able to, like... Right now, I've spent the money and I've got so much time. I could learn treasure hunting. I could do other stuff. But, like, I've built the properties and looked at the graph and got the data. And, like, I've got time now. Like, I've got so much time to actually be building a business up or be building this up or like another thing as well so it'll just be so cool to see once the factory's online that'll be awesome the showroom as well once we get five spark we'll be able to like start looking at that obviously granada hills is growing really fast we'll just show you the data quickly on that we'll go over to los angeles and oh, now we'll go to overview quickly overview on upx land and then we'll go to los angeles go down and then you can see in los angeles the node is in los angeles so we'll just click on that quickly and then once this loads up we'll go over to granada hills and then we'll just see what's actually happening in granada hills i've not checked this today so we'll have a quick look 3985 properties now so it's actually gone down which is amazing uh, you can see the floors are at 699 still and then the up price is 9600 that's really awesome to see. The markup in UPX is 160%. The markup in dollars is 153%. You can see $24 now and then $17,999. So all this data is absolutely cool to see. And then I also got something on my... Um, I got a link actually. Not a link. I was actually looking on the... The Discord this morning, I actually learned something as well, you know, uh, this information is really good, so what I will do is go out quickly, we'll go to Discord, I will put a link in the description, we'll go to Metaverse Melon, and then we'll go to Granada Hills node, and then in the Granada Hills node, I think it's in the Granada Hills node, or is it in just a general chat? Let's go over to general chat. I'm on my phone quickly right now, so don't worry, you're not going to see anything, uh, but what I'm trying to do is go over to general general here 
and then here we go so what i'll do is i'll send this link copy link share link and then i'll share it with the macbook and then i'll just show you this quickly because this is absolutely awesome to see so this website will come through right now hopefully it loads up which it has i love the macbooks by the way if you've got an iphone and a macbook pro or just a macbook here how cool they actually are to actually run and just operate I've just sent this link over so you can actually see right now the top 50 uh, top 20 neighborhoods and the top 50 neighborhoods so you can actually see all the data here but then if we actually go over to all ratings all rankings sorry all ratings yeah i got it right the first time it's a bit of a mess here but what we'll do is go over to la and this is what i seen yesterday we'll click los angeles uh, wait to see till this loads and we can actually see all the properties in los angeles all the different neighborhoods and see how they're actually getting on but you can see some of the top neighbourhoods have only got like a 10 or 14. And we're sitting at 8. We're sitting somewhere around here. So we're sitting about 8 right now. So we're over halfway. We're beating like about 30. At least 30. And we're at 8. And I believe we can get this to 10 in the next couple of months. Like definitely. And I know this sounds mad. Like I know a lot of people have been building nodes for like years. And I know nothing compared to them. But I just believe with the motivation and the, the momentum that I actually bring to anything I do in life. I'll be able to push this really fast. And with the community behind us, we can actually grow this, jump onto it. I'll be very open, very... Uh, like where the players can actually find out where to go and what's the best way to go and it's not just like it's not the best way to go so i can like earn up eggs it's the best way to go so everyone what's watching this video has already got property in granada hill so we can actually all make a killing together we can actually all win together you know no one's losing out behind no one's getting left behind we'll all work as a team and i'll show you the best deals so like if you get it before i get it like fair enough so we'll go here we'll click granada hills quickly i just want to show you the actual growth So yeah, here's Granada Hills, which is absolutely awesome. You can see actually how far it's gone up over since we've got it. And now it's sitting at 8.6141. So it's gone down a little bit, but hopefully that just updates and it goes back up again a little bit. But the floor will go up and down as well, which actually adds to it, I believe. Uh, but you can actually see here Granada Hills is at the top. We'll just stick here. This will stick up all the neighbourhoods so you can actually see. And then you can see Granada Hills in the top left. I'll just move it to the middle now. So this is basically the node we're trying to mint out as quick as possible. Uh, try and raise the price. Like the more properties you buy at the floor, the more you can actually make on the properties as well, which is really cool. So what the floor was, I think it was like $4 you could get some properties in Granada Hills for. Uh, I've come along a few months ago. I've learned Upland for about 11 months. And then the last few months, I was like, Granada Hills looks really cool. Uh, no one's really doing much in Granada Hills. So we're going to jump onto that and actually start minting some properties and that and just see where it goes. And then after about... I think it was after a few weeks of filming these videos, everyone was just jumping on, like, turn it into a node, turn it into a node. So we've eventually turned it into a node. So, yeah, I'm new to this, but I do believe, like, we can turn this in. I've done rugby. I've got up to a really high level in that. Like, cooking became, like, top in this kitchen. Like, all the stuff I kind of do, I'll put my 100% into it. So Upland, I take very seriously. This is a game. I always say it's a game, which I do believe in. It's got game me mechanics, but so does a stock market. When you think about buying and selling and, like, the bar goes up and down, it's like a game mechanic. Like, I'm buying and selling and making a profit on stocks. So I'm not just investing in stocks and holding them. I'm actually, like, day trading and, like... um stuff like that so i've done that in the past as well so i believe upland like it is a game which is fun so i can do that side of stuff but yeah i'm not like playing about with the money what's invested at all like there's a lot of data and a lot of investment and i do plan to grow this but it's so fun it's so fresh it's so like revolutionary how it actually works and yeah i'll make a lot of money on this and show my parents it actually works as well because if i know a lot of people like are a bit older no offense at all but watch this i might be a bit skeptical and i was at the start as well like i'm 28 years old i've been investing though for about eight years not amazing at it at all not made loads of money just kind of been investing and now i actually look at upland as like my main way to go forward but just want to say this is not in um, investment advice so please don't take it that way uh, but i'm just like a player what's got a lot of dedication i work a lot of hours really trying to get my hours down at work as well so i can actually spend more time with my partner like spend more time with you guys actually filming these videos and making this content and then yeah just basically be able to like grow this into something full time so if we actually go over here as well you can see what she's really cool 
You can see on properties, we're now bringing in 109,798, and we're sitting at 7,030,000 now, which is awesome. I've got a lot more properties on sale, so if you want a good deal in LA, jump onto James UK. Help me out, I'm broke. <laughs> uh, try and grade this account up to like closer to 7.5 million. Uh, try and get a few more properties as well. So what we'll do is do uh, 3.5 Spark for 5 days once we get to 350 subscribers so two more subscribers and we'll hit that hopefully this video gets it and then also like and comment on the videos below once we hit 500 subscribers we will be giving away 50,000 upex uh, that'll be really good fun as well so get involved with that if you're not already and yeah gonna leave that video there guys just wanted to jump on quickly i will be off tomorrow so i'll film tomorrow guys uh show you where we are with the account and just what's coming forward i've got some exciting news to let you know so i'll see you tomorrow guys for another video thank you for watching subscribing and commenting and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.